Welcome. My name is Sharon Kelly. Thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited about today's class, so I think we'll just get straight into it. We're just going to start with a bit of warming up through the spine and then we'll go into our ab work. So either placing your hands here on your shoulders or on your head. I want you to sit up nice and tall, drawing the shoulder blades down towards your hips, widening the elbows. Now just let the chin roll down round that upper spine. So you can, just as you're rounding over, separate the vertebrae. See, bring the elbows in towards the knees. And then coming up, think about stacking the spine. Your, like your back is layering against a wall. That's it, losing my glasses. Let's do that again. So rounding over upper spine, so chin drops. Elbows are starting to come together and let's draw the abdominals in here. Now let's stack the spine as though it's we're going against a wall. Okay, let's do two more. I find this really a nice movement, especially that upper spine, the thoracic spine. It tends to get tight. And then coming up, stacking the spine, draw the shoulders down, widen the elbows. One more. And coming up. Good work. All right, bring the arms down, give the shoulders a little roll out. So I'm going to stay on the side for a minute. Next thing we're going, to do, we're going to do is we're going to keep the ears over shoulders and shoulders over hips. And all I want you to do is to hinge back. Now you should feel the abdominals start to catch and then come forward. Nice straight back, hinging back. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. Engage the tummy as you pull yourself forward. Okay, I'm going to just sit this way. That's it. And let's come further forward, See, still with a straight back. Let's do two more all the way. If you're finding you're getting irritation in your lower back, you could try not coming as far forward as back. Um, <laughs> otherwise, just sit the exercise out <laughs> is what I would do. Don't like too much irritation. Okay, but we are going to be working with that forward and back movement. Uh, let, me, let me show you what we're doing. So we're going to bring the knee into the chest. So it's into a crunch, push the foot back, extend the leg and lean back. Coming forward and back. So let's follow along. If this irritates your lower back, don't lean, lean back. Coming forward. Push the leg away, show me six, using the abdominals, lower back as we lean back, abs engage, and three elbow arms could be here if you're feeling your shoulders are getting tired, and two, and one, excellent work, come down, give the shoulders a roll. So I feel like I've had a rough start for today's workout. Anyway, let's keep persevering. We're going straight into the other side. Draw the shoulders down towards your ears. So we're going to crunch forward, push the foot away. Feel the energy running down that leg. I find my legs engaged the whole time. Tummy tight. Remember your options. And let's do six. Are you feeling your legs? Five, oh, I am. And four, good. Crunch, push away. Three, two, and one. Well done. Bringing the leg down, give the shoulders a roll. So this time we're going to do a rotation. We're going to do exactly the same movement, but we're going to um, rotate the, the spine. So let's, let's play with that. So we're going to bring 
the knee to the chest, we're going to rotate our spine, come back to a straight spine, push away. So knee to the chest, abdominals are engaged as we rotate, and down. Now if you're getting hip irritation, this might not be for you. Shoulders drawing down your back, using the abdominals to rotate. Six. Five, keeping the neck nice and long. Four. Three, you're feeling that waist get smaller. Two, and rotating. And last one, okay, coming down, give the legs a shake, give the shoulders a roll. Let's go straight into the other side. These are really taxing exercises. I don't know about you, but I can definitely feel it. All right, hands behind your head. Take a breath in. Bring the knee to the chest. Rotate. Coming back and push away. So knee to the chest. Twist through the waist and push away, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Neck is nice and long. Abdominals are engaged. Let's do six. And five. Rotate. Excellent. Four. Keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Three. Come on guys, can you feel your abdominals or are you feeling your legs more? Two, or did I miscount? <laughs> and last one, come on, twist. Come back to centre and rotate. Give the shoulders a roll. Okay, I'm hoping you're feeling nice and warmed up. Give the shoulders a bit of a workout here. Okay, we are going straight into our Tabata work now. And this is a bit of a brain teaser today, so... <laughs> Stay with me and don't worry if I mess it up. So the first exercise, so what we're doing with the leg, it's we're bringing it across like this. So you're swinging it across your knee. Now if that's not for you, just bring it in front, okay? You can just heel tap forward so it's still coming across. But if you want more, I want you to bring it right across with a hand push. That's it. And... Come back to a nice straight position. Position. Same leg, we're going heel, toe, heel, toe. So follow along with me as I'm showing you. Palm up, pushing up. Okay. Other leg, same thing. So we're coming across and back. Kick it, it, kick, push the foot away and push the palm of your hand away as it crosses your body. Okay. Other arm, heel, toe, heel, toe, same leg. All right, let's do this. Let me get the trusty timer going. Starting your task six, 20 uh, slash 10 workout. Get ready. Let's do this. Let's go. Why do we have to have a warm up? Let's do it. Good. You want to reach the leg away, over, across the other leg. Reach the palm. Now remember your options. You can be just going to the front. Even to the front, you could put the heel forward. That's it. Reach. Find this is a really big stretch in that hip. And last one. Okay. Same leg. So we're doing the heel toe, palm to the ceiling. And let's go, heel toe, palm to the ceiling. Long neck, see if we can push that hand flat up onto the ceiling. I oh know, you're probably finding this very easy now. <laughs> push it up. Good, heel toe, keep the abs engaged. Come on, keep pushing that hand up to the ceiling. You're going to get your shoulders working here. 
And let's go for three, two, one. Okay. Other leg, same arm. So we're coming across. And let's go push away, push the sole of the foot and the hand. See if we can swing this leg over the stationary knee. So as we come back, squeeze the shoulder blade, push across. Remember your options, you can be here. Oh. One, okay, same leg, we're doing the heel toe tap, opposite arm pushes to the ceiling. Let's get ready in three, two, one. That's it, tall posture. Now the good thing about doing this by the timer is you don't have to keep up with me, you can go faster than me, you can just walk it out if you want. Come on, push the palm up. That's it, good work, come on. And last one. Okay, going back to the first leg and we're doing that crossover again. How are we doing? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, we've got a recovery. Where you can have a quick drink of water here. We've got four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Push it over. Come on, get the hand right across. Keeping the hand close to the body <laughs> is hard work for me. <laughs> what about you? Come on, push the foot. See if we can get that leg over the stationary knee. That's it. Push the heel away. Oh, there it is. I'm feeling it. Are you? And last one. Okay, same leg, opposite hand. Remember, it's that heel toe. And pushing up. Let's go. Right, now through all this seated work, please keep the abdominals engaged. It is a lot of abdominal work. That's it, palm to the ceiling. If your shoulders are getting sore, maybe just come out to the front. That's it, come on, push up. Feel the abs, feel the shoulder work. And last one. Okay. We're going to the other side, across. I hope I've done this right. No, it's this side, isn't it? Let's go. <laughs> it's a real brain teaser, this stuff. Come on, strong work. Is it squeeze that elbow back into the shoulder? It, come on, right across. Use the waist. Okay, same leg, opposite arm. Get ready. This is our last set on this exercise. And let's do this. Come on, push the palm up. Keep the neck long. Long, not <laughs> tongue tied already. Straight back. Come on, see if we can go faster. I'm getting warmed up. Come on, good arm movements. Oh. Two and one. Well done. Have a rest. I'll show you what we're doing next. Let me just turn this off for a second and make sure we don't get interrupted again. Okay, just let the shoulders roll. Okay, <laughs> so this next exercise is a bit of fun and I hope you really enjoy it. What we're doing is heel, heel, toe, toe, same side, toe, toe. So as we come out, two heels, toe, toe. What we're doing with the arms is we're doing heel, heel, toe, toe. So we're just doing wider arms, okay. We're going to go into burpees. The first set, we'll be going slap down, 
either lean forward and stay or hands to the ground, come back and clap your hands above your head. Okay, we're going to change this on the second round. This is where it gets a little bit mind, a mind thing for me. It's the same thing, heel, heel, toe, toe, but this time we're going up and down with our arms, really doing my head in that. <laughs> and then the second set of burpees, we're coming down, um, slap the legs, come down. Now we're only going to here and we're squeezing the shoulder blades back, back to the legs, hands to the floor and here. Now remember if you don't want to come all the way down to the floor, you can just come down to there, halfway down, don't touch the floor. Okay, let's go. Uh, let me know how you go with this because oh, I messed it up heaps when I, when I first started. Okay, let's go. Heel, 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 toe, toe. I mixed it up already. Heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. Keep the elbows in. You can only smile, can't you, when you mess it up? <laughs> oh, God. That's it. Good work. Oh, I never thought I'd be in so much of a hurry to do burpees. Are we ready? Get ready. <laughs> and go. Down. Go. Come on, hands above head. So clap, lean, good thing about burpees is they tend to go pretty fast or is that just me thinking it's going fast, come on let's go faster we're getting stronger and last one okay so it's heel heel toe toe but this time arms are going straight up <sighs> all right come on guys let's do it heel heel toe toe heel heel toe toe heel heel toe toe how we doing <laughs> i messed it up that's it <sighs> Oh, this is really working my brain. All right. Set, next set of burpees, remember, squeeze the shoulder blades back with long arms. Let's get ready, set, and go. And down. Come on, squeeze the shoulders to bring the arms back behind you. All the way down, or not. Okay, good work. Let's go for maybe one quick one more. Okay, the second set, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're just going to add a bit more depth to it. So with our heel heel, we want to try and get out wider. Heel, oh, there you go, I've got a recovery. And the toe, toe. See if you can lengthen that leg a bit further away from you. All right, are we ready? Let's go. Heel, heel, toe, toe. So Push the heel away, push the toe away. Getting into the inner thigh now, facing me. I just mucked up. That's okay. Have you mucked up? Come on, see. <laughs> Get the leg out wide, feeling my inner thighs. Hope you are. That's really easy when you get into it, isn't it? Now, change with the burpees as well. We're not adding the slapping of the legs. So you can just come down or you can touch the floor. So we're going straight down to the floor, bring the legs together and straight up. Now, the modification is just coming to here and down. Good. Nice flat back. Work the tummy here. Keeping that shoulders nice and wide. Clap above your head. How are you finding this? 
Okay, straight up. Remember, try and go out a bit wider with the leg. Uh, breathing, let's go. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Long neck. Keep the shoulders sliding down your back. Right, heel, heel, toe, toe. Push the heel away. Push the toe away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just about did it. Oh, have a rest. So the other set of burpees is we're not um, doing the middle tap. And remember, it could just be a lean over. Let's go. Straight down. Squeeze the shoulder blades to bring the arms back. Now, you, if you've been doing this for a while, go a little bit faster. Or see if you can jump the legs higher. That's it. How's that feeling? <laughs> Excellent. Well done. That's our last set of cardio. We've just got a little bit of weight work today, not much actually. So grab your weight. Here. <sighs> Leaning forward, abs are still engaged. Let's drive the elbows back, squeeze the elbows together, place the weights down. Now you can use heavier weights here. I don't know why I'm not. I think I'm just wussing it. Tummy pulling in. Let's go for 10. Long neck, squeeze the elbows in, drive them up high, and six. How are we doing? Five, four. Can you feel that as your elbows squeeze in the back engage? Three, that's what we're looking for, a nice strong back. Two, and one. Okay, staying here. Little pulses, we're going to lift the elbows up, keep the neck long, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent work. I'm hoping you're feeling your back. One more exercise in um, the, this position, leant over. We're going to bring the weights to out to our side, long neck, squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the weights up. Now, if you did have heavier weights before, you might want to use lighter weights. I would rather see you get your arms up than struggle with heavy weights. Come on, squeeze the shoulder blades. Keep the neck long. All right, squeeze and lift a touch higher. Let's do four, make them harder. Squeeze up. And three, please look down in front of you. Two. Okay, last one. Bring the weights down. Now we're going to do those little pulses. You can drop the weights, squeeze the shoulder blades, little pulses. You're feeling like you've got a nut in the middle of your shoulder blades and you're squeezing it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, well, I felt that. All right, last exercise, biceps. So what we're doing here, to what the weights, we're going to extend our arms. So we're lengthening through the um, underside of the elbow. Come back. Lengthen and back. Now, just do little ones. Keep the neck long. That's it. Now we'll come back, right back and out. That's it. Good. Let's do three pulses. All right. And three, two, one, three, two, one. All right, one more set. Just trust me, it's going to get a whole lot better. All right, holding those weights. What we're going to do is just lifting them up. Now, lift up. So all we're doing is making that bicep work. I'm hoping you're feeling it. All right, let's come out to the side. Little pulses, a straight back. That's it. Bring it back in. I mean, that's pulsing. Okay, this time I want you to do a little swing out. It's like half a circle. Nice straight back. And back the other way. And let's do that again. 
little, it's like really, nearly a circle, but it's not quite. I'm hoping you're feeling those biceps starting to say hello. Oh, you've got a muscle. All right. Okay. Pulsing. You want just lifting. That's it. Good. Coming back to the center. Let's do three more. That's it. Okay, come on, make them a bit more work, moving those arms up and down. Are you feeling your arms? Good posture, good work, well done. Okay, let's bring them down for a second. Give the shoulders a roll. What we want to do is turn them out. You can drop the weights here and just open the um, elbows up, just stretching out through that bicep muscle. Let's do three and two and one. Okay, good work. Well done today. Give the shoulders a roll. <sighs> Let's bring the arm across, reach, stretching out the shoulder. Coming down, other side, reach it away. Reach the hand away is what I'm saying. All right, let's bring either the ankle on top of the legs, squeezing the legs together, or we're going to bring the ankle on the knee, sitting up nice and tall. So let's just let the ankle go. Three circles and then back the other way. Okay. Nice tall posture. As Take a breath breathe out. Let's lean forward. Ah, feeling the shoulders dry. Um, slide down your back, and let's see if we can get our chest lower towards our calf. Coming back up. Let's swap sides. So do wherever you are. Otherwise, ankle to knee. Before we start, just do some circles, and back the other way. Okay, and leaning forward, draw the shoulders down towards your hips. Just breathe, enjoy the stretch. And let's come down lower. Ah, and coming up. All right, guys, let's just take a couple of deep breaths to finish today. So we're going to breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to lean over, pushing the hip down, stretching up out of our waist. Come back, swap sides. And let's do one more to each side just because it feels nice. Thank you for joining me today. I don't know how I went today. I think I mucked up a bit, but anyway. I'm thinking I'm getting better with my classes. I'm hoping you're getting something out of it. And if you are, let me know, please. It'd be really good to get some feedback. And um, thank you.